Online auctions, hosted by auction houses like Auction Nation, are now commonplace across the country. But in Arizona and other states, if you bid online, you may not only be bidding against other people, you may be bidding against the house. And that practice is legal under Arizona law. Here's what you should know. Auction houses operate on a system of seller's commissions, buyer's premiums, and other fees that keep the lights on. Fees and commissions vary by auction house and even depend on the seller or item being sold. All things being equal, an auction house will typically make more profit if an item sells for more money. Online auctions opened up these businesses to bidders from across the globe they otherwise may never have had. This language here on Auction Nation site states, if a lot is offered subject to a reserve, we may implement such reserve by bidding on behalf of the consigner, the seller, whether by opening bidding or continuing bidding in response to other bidders until reaching the reserve. In other words, it's okay for the auction house to participate in bidding to help a seller's item hit a reserve price. You can think of that as a minimum amount of money the seller is willing to take. That reserve price is hidden from bidders and on auction nation can change without notice. It's kind of like this. Imagine you're at an auction and you raise your placard to bid on a beautiful diamond ring for your fiance. The auctioneer sees you and your bid is noted. Then, the person next to you raises her placard. Now you're in a bidding war. What you don't know is the person outbidding you is working for the auction house to help bump up the price of the ring. You manage to outbid her, but not before the price of the ring increased a couple hundred dollars. This happened to Tyler Hudgens, except he never had the chance to face his competition. He bid against bidder 46176 and 13039. Both bid using fake email addresses, which Auction Nation says it uses for its house accounts. Here's how to protect yourself. Set a maximum price you're willing to pay and stick to it. Don't get sucked into bidding wars you're not comfortable with. Read all the terms and conditions on an auction house's website, even that itty bitty text buried at the bottom of the page. There could be other conditions in there, including policies on returns, as is sales, and other fees. For more information, go to azcentral.com and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and on YouTube.